Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OC review video. Today we are taking a look at the 40th anniversary Gravedigger 8-pack by Spin Master and Monster Jam. This is a special edition for online only, I believe. There is no specific store that this should be going to, um, as far as I've heard and remember being said. Um, as far as what website it'll be on, I believe it's going to be on Amazon only. Uh, possible that it makes its way to the Superstore for a higher price, that's usually the case. But for now, I just want to review it and get this review on the way. So here it is, the 40th anniversary Gravedigger 8-pack. This is the first time we we're seeing an 8-pack with this new design. It's actually very, very cool because this whole packaging style now allows for even bigger exclusive packs of trucks that we haven't seen made by Spin Master. For instance, and this is the one that many people are going to comment before I even say it, is Avenger. Avenger 8-packs can be very effective in getting things done in a very fast manner instead of having to do them every single year uh, in doubles or singles they can knock out a lot of designs in one go. And this is a great thing for that. So here are the trucks that are featured in this Gravedigger Encore pack. Not all of the Gravediggers that were in the Encore are in this pack, and not all of them are accurate. We'll talk about that as we get into the review, the nitty gritty details, but here they are. We have from the right to the left on the bottom, the Weston Anderson primer truck, which is, I'll be honest, pretty accurate to uh, his truck he drove on a CRD chassis, not the retro chassis. We have Gravedigger the Legend with the van style casting. Grandma Gravedigger attempted on the Legend casting as well. A lot of notes for this. This is actually not fully accurate, but we'll talk about it in a moment. Gravedigger Ride Truck making a return. Son of a Digger, Gravedigger Normal, 40th Anniversary Gravedigger, and 30th Anniversary Gravedigger with an updated decal. We'll talk about as I unbox it. So here it is. Here's the back of the package, by the way. Uh, the sides here have Gravedigger, the normal Gravedigger, just in motion. But here's the back of the package, and it's the main part that I actually want to note is some of the accuracy things before we hop into the actual truck. So uh, here is Weston's truck here. It was a makeshift uh, version of the primer truck, which you've actually never seen this style body done before. The last time we ever saw a primer Encore truck was in 2010, which actually used half a Willys body, the cab and the fenders, and a normal Gravedigger hood. That was a very unique mashup body that we've never seen done in a die cast form. I have added that to a list of suggestions for Spin Master to produce in the future, but this version in this pack is supposed to mimic the one he drove. While not fully accurate, it is pretty close to how it looked in real life. Moving on, we have Gravedigger the Legend on the classic Gravedigger body. So the actual Gravedigger casting, not the van body. This was part of the Encore. We actually saw this way back when Tony Farrell drove it and Adam Anderson before they perfected the van casting and moved to that casting permanently. We have the makeshift Grandma Gravedigger, which first appeared in the 30th anniversary Gravedigger Encore. It still gets used in every Encore since then, the 35th and the 40th. It's never, thankfully, been destroyed, so it is still used. Its paint scheme is much different than what is in this pack, but again, we'll talk about that in a moment. We had the 25th anniversary Gravedigger come back in the Encore. It had the modern Gravedigger paint scheme with some ghost changes, uh, the ribbons on the side, and the roof panel actually was a makeshift of the Chrome Edition, uh, which was all hand-painted decals from the Ghost to the 25th anniversary banner. Uh, that has actually never been seen in Spin Master yet. And hopefully next year, when we do receive the Chrome Gravedigger 25th anniversary body design, uh, we'll get a better idea of how the roof looks and how this could potentially be made in the future. But it is not featured in this pack here today. It also has on the back of the package the 30th anniversary 3D Chrome purple body, which they made again for this Encore. Fully brand new body. I was actually thinking it was a... It was one from the dungeon that they have on the walls for display. It was fully remade just for this Encore. Uh, there was updated decals, the Spin Master, Tombstones, and so on. Uh, so it did appear at the 40th anniversary Gravedigger Encore as a one-off exclusive for that celebration. We also have the 40th anniversary Gravedigger that jumped over the trucks. This is actually a still motion shot. There was not four uh, simultaneously jumping in a train over them. It looks really cool, but it was just not 
uh, actually able to happen. So you can see uh, this is Adam Anderson in a motion shot here in several frames jumping over the trucks. There is Son of a Digger in the background. And to the left of this photo being taken is the Gravedigger ride truck that the drivers were actually in during this Encore. So there's the back of the packaging, the story behind the Encore. I'm going to unbox this right now and open it up and talk about all the trucks and the details that they missed and actually got right, right now. So we have now unboxed everything out of this nice display. As you can see back here, the display is actually uh, World Finals 21 uh, in Orlando. They like to use this background a lot lately for the marketing designs. Uh, so there is that. Let's get the packaging out of here. And the trucks here, all eight of them, are really awesome in their own ways. Uh, I also want to mention that it actually features two accessories, the crush cars and the dirt ramps return for this pack as little exclusive drop-ins, which is really nice. Uh, for those who use those for tracks or whatever, uh, mostly for the younger audiences, of course. Uh, so here are all eight trucks. Uh, we're going to start today with Son of a Digger because it is the outlier of not being totally a Grave Digger, but also being part of the Grave Digger team. Uh, so here is that Son of a Digger. You can see it has probably the most accurate blue color roll cage I've seen used for Son of a Digger thus far. Uh, the chassis is gray. The beadlocks are dark blue with the gray rims for the interior and black tires. It has full grill printing, uh, really clear graphics on the Son of a Digger, which is actually really rare, uh, which is nice. It also has the updated side panel with Megalodon instead of Avenger, and there is Son of a Digger. So that's the first of the eight, the Son of a Digger in this pack. Uh, we also have the Grave Digger, which is the normal edition. Uh, I'm kind of bummed out that they didn't include 25th anniversary because this Grave Digger actually could have been that truck. Uh, it was unnecessary to include a normal Grave Digger because uh, this never was in the Encore. They didn't run a normal Grave Digger there. Uh, but they did choose to release it in this pack nonetheless. Uh, so here it is. Pretty clear graphics again for this release as well. Uh, it does have the newest color variation of the roll cage, which is accurate to the real life truck. It's neon green. Uh, this was a design note that I pushed last year. And finally, it's applied to every Grave Digger since that release of the Encore Legend. Um, so now we have the uh, green color matching the real life trucks roll cage, a black chassis, the same neon green for the rims and black tires. So there is Grave Digger, the normal body in this pack there. The Grave Digger ride truck is one of the cooler ones in this pack because uh, this was not only a chase piece back in 2020, but also has been making its rounds in doubles packs. Now it is in this eight pack. I love this casting. It's one of my favorites of Spin Master's entire tenure so far. So I'm not disappointed seeing it again, although the chase piece collectors uh, are probably not very happy that they keep releasing it. Uh, I still think it was definitely a necessity in this pack because the drivers were in here. Dennis Anderson was in it and uh, it's part of the history of the Encore. It also has the updated color for its chassis, its roll bars, its front bumper, rear bumper, and rims, the bright neon green, which looks fabulous. It's definitely a really cool variation of this truck and black BKT tires for this truck as well. Uh, it doesn't have retro tires. I think it looks better, honestly, on BKTs. It just gives it a better stance. Uh, so there is Gravedigger Ride Truck, the third truck of the pack. And now we hop into the historical schemes of this set. We're gonna start with Weston Anderson's Gravedigger Primer Truck. Uh, the color on this is very, very pale color. It's almost salmon color. Um, which is not accurate to the real life truck, but I think it actually is better than having the pure red like they ran in real life. I will say that the actual casting is inaccurate for a couple reasons, but for what they're going for here for a one-off Encore truck, I don't think it was completely necessary to completely recast the primer casting. Um, it does not feature the correct hood, which is actually the Gravedigger the Legend hood here. They actually just use this hood for this truck. Uh, so that will require a completely new casting, completely from the ground up redoing this truck. Um, if they were to redo this Encore Weston truck, uh, it would be nice to have the hood filled in because they would be using this hood specifically on this body. Uh, the casting itself for the fenders and the back here, all accurate. They could just keep that. Just remove the hood and replace it with Gravedigger the Legend. That's really the only thing that needs to change. Um, but for what it is in this pack specifically, I will give it the pass on this go around. It does look great on the CRD. It has the yellow rims like the real life truck had, black roll cage and gray chassis. Uh, the headlight here is chipped. That is just something that came with my package. This will be fixed for every release. Unless you are unlucky and get a paint chip as well. Uh, this is not a feature of the design. That's just part of what happened with this transportation of it. Um, you can see it says we ain't bad, but the bad don't mess with us on the back there. And there it is, the Weston Anderson 
Red Primer Truck Encore edition for this 40th anniversary eight pack. Really cool truck here. Uh, not fully accurate, of course, but still gets the point across as far as the Encore truck. From the side profile, it looks exactly like how the real life truck looked besides the color not being dark red. So there is the Encore Gravedigger. And then we have Gravedigger the Legend, which just gets better and better every time they release it. This blue color is completely accurate. Uh, to the real life truck. So really nice. I love Gravedigger Legend. I just know it's not the most popular as far as it being on shelves. Uh, last time we saw Gravedigger Legend, as far as an official release of it, not trying to be an Encore truck, had a dark navy color, uh, which depends on when it was being painted. It could be accurate. However, this blue here is much better to the accuracy of the real life truck. They also went accurate with not including the championship because that truck did not have it. And that actually bumps us into our next note about the accuracy of this truck. Uh, it is not accurate. This is Gravedigger Legend, yes, that is true. But the Encore truck actually ran this body style uh, like it ran before they had this casting. It was actually this Gravedigger style body with the Legend graphics on top of it uh, with the white headlights. Uh, but they did choose to just go straight with the Gravedigger Legend instead of doing the Legend on the Gravedigger body. I don't know why that is, but uh, anyway, they did give us another Legend. It has a black roll cage and black chassis, gray rims, and black tires. Like I said, the blue color is the really good part about this truck. But as far as the accuracy goes, it is nowhere close to the accurate body that was run at the Encore. However, that can be fixed in the future. It's a very, of all the fixes that I've mentioned today, uh, it can be easily fixed and swapped onto this body style because we've used this casting thousands of times for normal Gravedigger and this graphic scheme is not very detailed. So it's an easy swap for the future. Uh, just a note for design in the future for Spin Master. But until that happens, this is the Gravedigger Legend that we received. And moving on to the next truck, which is the Grandma Gravedigger. So Grandma Gravedigger has never been attempted on the Legend body by Spin Master. I know what they were going for here and I applaud the effort and the fact that they actually released one, that they didn't just go with the normal panel van uh, for instance, this casting here, I don't have the Grandma Gravedigger with me on hand, but this casting, the big chunky one, which is what it used to look like, uh, they did go with the Legend body, which is how they've done the Encore since uh, the 30th anniversary Encore in 2012. Uh, however, the graphic scheme is not uh, the one that is actually on the real life truck. This is uh, the same graphics layout as Grandma Gravedigger on the giant panel van that we've seen in the past, just modified onto the Legend body for this release. So like I said, accuracy wise, not accurate at all, but effort wise, it gets the point across and it is technically the same as what we've seen in real life. Uh, the real life one, I'll put a picture on screen. The scheme itself was hand painted uh, really fast. You can tell the effort wasn't as detailed as normal Gravediggers for the Encore in 2012. That would be awesome to see them remake that into Spin Master form. However, uh, for now, I will take this as a makeshift Grandma Gravedigger on the Legend body uh, Encore truck. As you can see here, they even added the tailgate, which is really nice that they did that because usually in the past we have not had that included on other companies' trucks. Um, you can see it has the uh, ghost there, the Grim Reaper, with the two tombstones that we are very familiar with on the Grandma Gravedigger body style. And this side panel, same things going on with the stacked Gravedigger logo and Monstrum logos. It does have red headlights, the silver grill printed in, and then the short flame pattern with the stripe down the hood. And it has the neon green roll cage, black chassis, pure green rims, and black tires. And like I said, for what it is in this specific release, without it being made with new graphics and artwork, this will serve as a pretty good placeholder for the time being if Spin Master ever does go back and make the actual Encore graphics. But this is still really cool. And um, I think the effort that they put into it is just really awesome. So there is our first official Spin Master legend casting Grandma Gravedigger from the Encore right there. Now we have the 30th anniversary Gravedigger, which is a new updated graphic. They actually did make the skull on the side golden because the real life truck, despite this not being the 3D casting, was actually gold for the grim face. I don't know why that change happened because the original ones were silver or chrome, but this one was almost a gold tint and they actually got that detail accurate by tinting the face to gold uh, on this release. So despite, again, the 3D design not being here, uh, this still is pretty accurate to the real life truck and the graphics look very, very good on this body. There is the roof there, bad to the bone for 30 years, the championships and the tombstones, the hood completely wrapped with really, really clear graphics with a flame pattern, a beautiful solid metallic color for the purple and the neon green roll cage, gray chassis, gray rims with green beadlocks and black tires. So despite the 3D casting not happening for this release, I think this updated 30th anniversary Gravedigger looks amazing. And I am such a big fan of this body style that I am loving seeing it over and over again, although others may disagree with me. And for the final truck, 
It is the 40th anniversary Gravedigger. We have seen this as an exclusive. We have seen this as a normal mainline release. And now for the first time we see it released with its proper beadlocks. This was a big complaint by collectors when they saw the original one released in the singles line with inaccurate rims. This time around it does have the accurate purple and the gray rims for the design there. It has the green roll cage and the gray chassis and those 40th anniversary Gravedigger graphics, which are now part of history now that we're out of the 40th anniversary. So there is the Gravedigger 40th anniversary, one we've seen many times before, so I'm not paying much attention to it as far as going in depth detail, uh, but it is still awesome. And that will now conclude the 40th anniversary Gravedigger eight pack by Spin Master. Again, it's going to be an online exclusive, whether that's Amazon only or not. I do not know for this review and the information. However, I know it's available on Amazon now, at least I think it is. Uh, but if it's not, it will be available soon. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will pass the notes along to Spin Master for the inaccurate parts of the trucks. And hopefully in the future, we'll see them appear in double packs or so on. But for now, I think everything they offer in this pack is very fitting to the Encore. The only major thing is that they didn't include the 25th anniversary Gravedigger. That one was required, I think, to make this whole thing come all the way around full circle and be a perfect pack. But I will give it a high rating. I'll say maybe like an 8 out of 10 for uh, what I think the effort and the choice of trucks are for this pack. I think they did a good job as far as picking and choosing what they could and couldn't do with budgets and new castings not being required. So there it is, Gravedigger 8-pack by Spinmaster Monster Jam. I'll see you guys next time. This is Ryan or Monster Jam OCD, signing out.